uh, welcome to another video so I was just uh, just googling around because I'm uh, making my own PLC controller using ESP32 and I need some uh, uh, input and output like uh, 24 inputs and 24 outputs and ESP32 doesn't have uh, those much pins available so definitely I have to use some kind of shift registers and stuff like that I have posted a video previously about uh, shift registers uh, particularly the 74HC 595 uh, which is uh, uh, a serial in parallel out so uh, in today's video I just want to uh, show you guys uh, how you can uh, implement uh, uh, Sample HC 165 in your project and how does it works. I actually uh, built this project in uh, on simulations like uh, Fruitius. As you can see here, I just want to show you uh, my PCB. Uh, actually, I, I using VLC PCB for my uh, product. I test these products in industries. Uh, for the textile industry, I want to see why these uh, devices are uh, not capable of, or maybe capable of. Uh, I just want to show it myself that yeah, I can do that uh, instead of a little logic. PLC is more sophisticated and has a lot of more advantages, and uh, obviously doesn't compete with the ESP32 PLCs, but it can do a lot of stuff that there's no need of a PLC and such a cost. Uh, costly thing so I can definitely use these uh, small PLCs which I have to build and here you can see that I use uh, for input sample SC165 and for output I'll be definitely using uh, sample SC595 so just uh, just a small video that uh, how can you implement let me open the QTS one and uh, here you can see you have uh, Arino Uno and uh, for this example, I'm just uh, using uh, let me move the window here for you. Uh, these are some C165 ICs, and uh, these are the pin configurations like uh, shift load. Um, <coughs> the shift load pin is connected to the Arduino 7 pin, and like uh, uh, enabling pin and clock pin, and definitely the <coughs> shift out pin of the first IC. Uh, will be connected to the serial in or the second IC like here shown uh, from the ninth pin on the previous IC the ninth pin uh, will come to the pin number 10 uh, of the second IC and then the pin number 10 uh, serial out will be uh, to the Arduino so this is a small uh, uh, simulation and I just use uh, potentiometer spot as uh, such as OBG level uh, <coughs> bulky for this one so it's, it's just a demonstration uh, uh, not a full tutorial so let me open the code code is not actually that much harder uh, let me explain these are the pins which are defined uh, <coughs> for the sample HCICs to work as load pin number 7 clock uh, enable pin 4 data and clock in and I just use, for example, a count uh, using a while, and these are the two bytes which uh, each IC will store is data. And, and in the voice setup, I just uh, uh, make these pins as the output and input. And if we come to the function, avoid getting data. So here I can just uh, uh, load the uh, load pin for roughly a 5 milliseconds, so it's, uh, it just loads this data. <coughs> and then I use shift in function uh, and least significant field first, uh, which is store uh, data in uh, incoming, and the second IC will be stored data in incoming one, and this will be stored in getting data void. And uh, in the loop section, where I just call my function getting data, and just you know, uh, first of all, uh, all the LEDs which are connected in the previous window in the previous I just want to be make it low and then in if statement if uh, incoming uh, is equal to uh, this binary data 
I mean, uh, the least significant bit is to be zero, and the rest of them will be high. And the incoming one uh, would be all one. So what will happen? It will turn on these two LEDs, and if uh, it uh, if two uh, two pins are be low and single will be low from the another IC, then this will be happen. And if uh, three pins of the first IC and two pins of the second IC will be low, uh, this will be happen. And uh, in this uh, if uh, else statement, there is another if statement and having a while statement. If this pins configuration of the incoming first IC is happened, then a while statement will be executed and it will turn on uh, an LED and turn off the LED uh, six times uh, for about 100 uh, millisecond delay and it will shut down it <coughs> and the counter will be reset and everything will be print as usual in the uh, serial print so uh, let me compile this uh, code for you guys and let's see what happens <coughs> so it, 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 this, this is my just testing for my uh, PLC because uh, I just want to use a lot of inputs and a lot of outputs and definitely I'll be showing and uh, sharing you guys uh, the uh, PCB uh, which I will be creating in a couple of days from now and I'll be posting a video of it so uh, maybe you, can, you guys can see how it works and maybe you can need them so I have to use it in home automation and for industrial use it's uh, cost effective and it does work I have posted uh, a lot of videos about uh, previously about I was just making a edge detection sensor for a stentor machine uh, actually a stentor machine a lot of guys we don't don't know about the stentor machine but it uh, it's a process in industrial uh, textile denim industry so it's a machine and it has an edge detection sensors uh, which will detect the fabric and it will feed the fabric to the chains of the machine so that the machine can grab that fabric and uh, do stuff uh, actually, it's a pretty good idea and pretty good project, and uh, the PLC should be a uh, very cost uh, costly uh, additive to the machine. So that's why I designed the project uh, based on IR LEDs and some uh, Atmega 2560 and some coding, uh, and it it works for around now. It's it's basically a year uh, has passed, and the thing works perfectly and didn't have any issue with them. So it's a uh, it's a reliable thing, and let me post this uh, the Proteus. And let me all to high. This just will work as a switches. As 100%, it will be uh, giving one, and the lowest person will be there zero. So let me run the project. And my laptop is very much slow, as it's giving us all the bits data, and these are all the LEDs. Now let me that's one. And if I load this, these two LEDs will be on. And if I of the these these all are uh, uh, these all ports are definitely from the IC one, and these all power ports are connected to the IC uh, two. Uh, in this regard, uh, let me pull the one zero. So this is from the IC two, and let me pull the one zero from the IC one. It will turn on the first one. It will turn on, and it will turn on. And there is a while loop, as you can see. It will count for six, and it will stop. And it will stop. If I do once again, uh, so high, so zero. And here is doing this while loop. <coughs> so uh, this thing definitely works, and I'll be implementing this on my uh, ESP32 PLC project, and I'll be definitely posting about videos how this thing works on machine. So thank you guys and please subscribe to my channel for a little bit more videos and like these stuff. If you like these stuff, please kindly subscribe and uh, put the notification bell on uh, and share my videos please. Uh, help me throughout uh, this.
building this channel uh, thank you guys so much uh, i'll see you next time